Hello, InstaForex presents a series of videos describing the work with trading platform MetaTrader 5. The topic of this video is setting up workspace. First of all, let us talk about the chart. In order to make the chart view handier and more informative, we can change its settings. Click with the right mouse button on the chart and select the menu properties. In the tab Show turn on the corresponding option so that in the left corner of the chart it would be possible to see the information about which financial tool you see on the chart and what its time frame is as well as its open price, maximal and minimal price and the close price of the current candlestick. If you plan to work with small time frames from 1 to 10 minutes, tick to show ask price line so that you could monitor the current size and change of spread. If you want, you can enable display of grid or period separators. In the tab Colors, we can set the candlesticks and bars of different direction to be shown in different colors. The increasing bars and candlesticks can be, for example, colored green, and the bars and candlesticks which go downside can be red. The bars and candlesticks which have the same open and close price can be depicted in yellow. To save setups, click OK. In the standard toolbox, click on Shift end of the chart from right border. And now there will be free space to the right of the chart, which can allow you to plot lines on the chart in order to focus the price movement in future. With the help of a special marker in the upper part of the chart, you can regulate the size of the standoff. Now your chart looks more visual. Still, it would be tiresome to do this every time for all charts. That is why you can save this button with the name Default. As you see it, all new charts now are opened in correspondence to your saved pattern. At the next step, we can set up the toolbox. Delete from the toolbar standard the icons you do not need and add those which you want to use often. You can also place the often used figures in comfortable order on the toolbar of graphical instruments. On the panel of the chart's time frames, you can also define the periods you are planning to work with. Now let us talk about Windows Navigator, Market Watch and Tools. First and foremost, I recommend you to keep in mind the hot keys for fast opening these windows. Ctrl N, Navigator Window. Ctrl M, Market Watch. Ctrl T, Toolbox. The Navigator and Market Watch windows are not always placed to the left of the chart. Just make a double click on the name of it and you will see that now the position of these windows can be easily changed. To fix the window to a certain place, you should drag it there and drop. Remembering the hotkeys of opening windows, you can activate it when needed and keep the screen free and comfortable. The multifunctional window toolbox can be also unfixed from the bottom of the terminal window. This can be useful if you are working with a few monitor units and want to shift the position of the screen from the upper part to the lower one of the screen. As this window occupies much space, it can be hidden quickly by pressing Ctrl T. Though sometimes it is more comfortable to minimize it to one line high, to do this, just make a double click on the name of the window. This way the window tools occupies little space on the screen and the trader still has an access to the balance of the account and can keep an eye on the open trades. To view the history of the chart, deactivate the option Auto Scroll by turning off the corresponding button on the standard toolbox. Otherwise, the chart will return to the right side with every new tick coming. It is possible to move the chart with the scroll of the mouse by the keys right, left, page down and page up. To switch to a special date on the chart, 
click on Enter or double click on the left part of the time scale. In the appeared field, type the date. If needed, determine the time after the date. You can change the scale of the chart either with the icons on the toolbox or, what is quicker, by pressing the keys plus and minus on the keyboard. For quick shift to a full screen mode and backwards, press the key F11.